shrimp and arugula flatbread. Sounds like a recipe that we do indoors. However, today we're gonna to go outdoors to create this restaurant quality dish on your grill. Let's start with the shrimp. About 90% of all shrimp will be frozen. The easiest way to thaw the shrimp is to run them under some cold water. It'll take about 10, 15 minutes. Marinating is always good when you're barbecuing because it's gonna tenderize and add more flavor. 20 minutes is the maximum that you wanna marinate. Because shrimp break down very quickly and your shrimp will become very, very soft. Line them up. Get them all even, nice in a straight row. Head to tail, tail to head. Here's the part where you're gonna be a surgeon through the head of the first shrimp, the tail of the next one, all the way through, and the same on the left-hand side. And this is gonna make grilling much easier because you can now control the shrimp on your grill. One of the most important things when you're working in a kitchen is to work safe, especially when you're working with raw product. So always wash your hands frequently. The challenge, however, is you really don't want to touch the faucet with these hands because the next time you touch the faucet, you're gonna have cross-contamination. So Cola has come up with this really cool new faucet called the Sensate. It has response technology. Simply run my hand underneath. I can now wash my hands and then simply wave my hand and that stops the flow of water. This is a great product. Great, let's go grill outside. Our grill is nice and hot. We're just gonna start keeping an eye on the shrimp and as the color starts to get a little bit pink, we're gonna turn those over. And it's really important with shrimp that you don't overcook them. Now we're gonna cook the flatbreads. This is gonna give it great flavor and visually it's gonna be really appealing. Time to compose our dish. Got a little arugula, olive oil, and dressing. At this point, take the shrimp, position them on top of the flatbreads. Finish that with some scallions, a little cilantro. And this is a beautiful dish that you and your friends can use when you're grilling outdoors. Bon appétit.